Don't worry, I have a token mail for you in the next hour, but just the one. We're all about merit on this show, no quotas, and it's good to see that Queensland Police has also seen sense and is likely to abandon its gender quotas thanks to the sensible intervention of Queensland's first female police commissioner, Katerina Carroll. Quotas are mandated and I, I disagree with them. Her preference, a system based on merit. To me, it's about equality and that everyone has the right to join the police service if they have the right skills, the right attributes and get through the process. She also wants to boost morale among existing officers and abolish red tape, touring the state to speak directly with those on the front line. Prue, she's only been in the job a few months and she's making a bold move to state her opposition to quotas and promote a merit-based system. It shouldn't be controversial, but it is. It's astounding, isn't it? I think she's wonderful. I love her. I wish we could get her as Prime Minister. It's so refreshing <laughs> to have someone who just tells it the way it is. You know, it's always got to be the best person for the job. And all this bias towards women, it's not doing women any favours. It's absurd. So I'm right with her. I think go for it, uh, kiddo. I think I really love her. I think she's fantastic. It's enough to want to make you move to Queensland. <laughs> well, Caroline, they've had a lot of trouble getting enough uh, women who are suitable to join the force to apply. When you've got these quotas, it really does restrict you in selecting the best candidates for the job. Well, it always brings me back to what Margaret Thatcher once said, the very wise Margaret Thatcher, who said, I would hate for people to ask me, are you a quota woman or a merit woman? No woman wants to be seen as a quota woman. Of course they want the doors to be open to them, and it's fantastic that there's such a wonderful female role model for women in the police force in Queensland. And I just love that she says at the end of that interview with Channel 7, she says, says that her ultimate goal is to make Queensland the safest state in the, the country. Note, she doesn't say the wokest state in the country, <laughs> the safest. She's actually coming to what policing should really be about, not all this identity politics nonsense.